Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, look at my hand. Look at my... <laughs> she says it's not quite ready yet. <laughs> and look at the... Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Guess what? Today, we're going to show you the biggest cabbage that I've ever seen. So this here is Teresa, and she's one of our community members. And I got an email a while back saying, hey, come and check this out. And she sent me a picture of the cabbage that they grow here. And I'm like, where have you been all my life? But on top of that, for those of you that live here in the Fairbanks area, they have a little shop. And it's called, let me see if I can get this. It's called the Alaska Fox Gift Shop. This has been here since 2012 after Gary retired. And you know what? I just now find out that I had a community member here that lives a few miles from me that's a carpenter, a retired carpenter. And I said, Gary, where have you been all my life? And ladies and gentlemen, this is Teresa's husband, Gary. Hello. And... Check this out. This is a, you said a four season greenhouse? Yeah. Well, this is something I definitely have to look at. Now look at this. Gary, this is what I'm planning on doing with my greenhouse. Mm -hmm. I have an old tent frame that I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce with some wood. And then I have a whole bunch of these clear see-through panels okay. that I'm gonna use for the walls and the uh, roof. You can see this one is, is just that on them cement box. Yep, that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. So, yes, I'm glad that someone tea, else has done it. The whole key, we never have to shovel the snow off this roof, ever. Last year was, what, 90 inches? Yes. Didn't ever touch it. That is awesome. And the look at this. The post down the center. You said this is a four-season yeah, greenhouse? Yeah, it as a garage. <laughs> oh, okay, you, said, you use it. Okay, I was going to say, man, <laughs> do, do these work that good <laughs> at but keeping heat in? But you, but you use it all, all year round. Yeah. Awesome, Just very by nice. Just the tubs over to the other side. Awesome. Come on into this. I get in the picture. Yes. Okay, and then uh, we start everything from seed. Yeah. These are all started from seed. Well, these are beautiful. That is, oh, you know what? My wife is at home with a slight medical issue, before I leave, I'm gonna get her some flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, this yeah. is gonna work out great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so show us around, what else do you have? You know, um, uh, let's save let's save the cabbage for last because okay. that's the one that I'm most interested Here's in seeing. Here's a picture seeing. of our greenhouse in the wintertime. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. There's a picture in the wintertime. And there's the car And that there is the greenhouse with, with the car, car parked, parked in, in there. Look at, oh, look at this, what do we have here? Virginia, and it's it's yep. evergreen. It's like that under the snow. And is that a is that an edible? I don't know. Oh, you don't no, know? I never okay. Looked it up. And what's it called? Virginia. Ber Virginia. B e r okay. g e n i a. Oh, and look uh, at this over here. The first thing to bloom. Is Nature is sweet tarts. Really? Let me try one of these. Oh no, you gotta try. You gotta try one. Oh really? Okay. okay. You have to get the full. All exact. right. The red currants. Very high Those in, are delicious. Very high in antioxidants start, and vitamin C. If you hear someone here at nighttime picking through these, please don't shoot. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are delicious. Hey, Holy good, smokes. Very good. Man, look at these, ladies and gentlemen. Right and you don't have to do anything to these. You just let them oh. grow. Yep, yeah, just let them grow. Look at this. Just strip them off. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. That gets that blend going, don't it? You know, they taste a little bit bitter, but they're really, really good. Yeah. Very tasty. And look at this. Wow. I can tell you all spend a lot of time out here. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Oh, this is peppermint. Oh, and Robin's now. Let's see. Oh, that is and delicious. And that's a high stop. Goodness. You can make a cheese out of it and stuff, too. Very good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? It is beautiful here. Oh, so we have another greenhouse back here. A lean-to greenhouse. If you ever make a lean-to onto your house. Oh my goodness. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to go in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a tomato. Don't let them know. <laughs> you can take a bunch. <laughs> now I know where to come get my produce. I just have to get with Gary and Teresa and see there when they're gonna go. be out of town. <laughs> Look at this. This looks beautiful. Now, my tomato plants, they're growing nice, but I haven't gotten any fruit out of them. You probably got an indeterminate. Yeah. Uh, two, different two different kinds, kinds of tomatoes. A determinant is one that grows its branches and then all its blossoms 
sets a bunch of fruit and then dies ripening it. See how a lot of them plants are starting to die? Right. They're not sick. They're just determinate. Look at this, ladies. And look at that pretty little tomato. You know what? Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Oh, no, it fell off. <laughs> it fell off, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look at that guy. <laughs> look at that guy. Yep. <laughs> this is going to end up uh, as one of my snacks here before you I leave. Right, walk right down and around if you like. Look at this. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, my goodness. Up. Look at all these tomatoes. Forty plants, I think we got. Okay, I think there's going to be a transaction here yeah, uh, in a few minutes. We're going to have a transaction so that I can take <laughs> some home. Yeah, it definitely will. Look at this, ladies. Oh, my goodness. You got oh, look at this. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Look at that. That's Fox Creek. Oh, my goodness. This is perfect. Look at that. Now, does this ever overflow? I've seen it up about as high as that stump. About the, is that stump? And if you look upstream, you can tell our feet are about way up how much it falls. Right. Look at this, it ladies and gentlemen. That it would, my neighbors downstream would have to be water up to their ceiling for us to get water up to our floor. Man. It falls so fast. If I had this near my house, I would never have to do a water run. Yes. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the rest of the tomatoes. Come on, Teresa. Lead the yes, way. We can walk down. Look at all these beauties. And they're all in different stages. You see some nice ripe ones, green ones. And look at that. Somebody takes care of their tomato plants, unlike the Alaska prepper. Look at these guys. Yeah. Do you have different varieties here? No, this is called an early tanana. Early tanana? So I guess that's what I'm going to have to start growing. I'm going to steal this idea from you, oh, these totes nice. idea from when I yes. put up my greenhouse. Yes. I'll be giving you a call next spring. Oh, yes, you'll have to come So over that I can do my planning. Season. And ladies and gentlemen, I promise we're going to show you those cabbage because... Those things are beautiful. Look at these guys. Aren't they just... We're in tomato heaven. Mm-hmm. The smell is just We awesome. are... Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, look at how much food is in this small space. Do you grow anything else other than just tomatoes in here, pretty much? Um, one year we grew basil and okay. thyme. Now, do you sell these tomatoes? Yeah, we do. In your shop? Some. So, so all of those other things, green beans, basil, thyme, they all grow really well in oh, here. Oh, real good, yes. Nice. Real good. Cucumbers will grow Cucumbers really good. Cucumbers will grow real good. Cucumbers, too. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. That is just beautiful. So let's go check out your shop. And we've got a good supply of seeds if we ever did need to switch. Just a second. Since we're still in the tomato room, let me see. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. To the, to the wood stove here. See, and then in, the, <laughs> in, then in the winter, I can turn on, the, put the fan, build a fire. and I can't talk yet. Yep. Oh. That tomato is awesome. <laughs> it's almost like eating a candy. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some from you all before we leave. Well, you got to eat while you're touring. Mm. That is delicious. And then there is where we start seedling. Well, this is, uh, this is dark in here, but this is, oh, let me see. Oh, oh there you go. Good. I got my flashlight. This is where they start their seedlings. And you can tell it's nice and warm in here. Do you, you already have your stove running? No. 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 Oh wow, this is very well insulated then. Yes. And that's their big old their big old wood stove. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little drunk collector. You can tell we ain't got fire. Yeah, you can. <laughs> that, that was a stupid question, wasn't it? I, I was like, do you already have your stove going? No, I don't think they do. If not, that'd be a pile of plastic, molten plastic up there. <laughs> we can go right back off this side. Yeah. Oh, look at that! You have a nice little workshop here. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Don't throw away your screws and nails. For sure. Huh? Look at that. That that to we some and you know the thing away. is to some people that might look like a pile of junk. When I see that, I'm like, man, that's awesome. Yeah, it's something to go through in the winter. Yep. Separate them. Man, I just love the sound of that uh, stream or that. Is that a stream or a river? Fox Creek. Fox Creek. That's the Fox Creek. Once you get down to Gold Stream Road. Uh huh. Fox Creek turns into Gold Stream Creek. Oh, okay. So this is just a small tributary. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And look at this, raspberries. Look at that. You'll have to take a bunch. Let's go ahead. Now I'm going to pick a couple. I really don't like raspberries too much because of the seeds. Oh, these are domesticated. Or at least, oh, so they don't have the little seeds Not yet? too much. Well, let's but see, let's they're see what they're like. Very sweet. Mmm, very good. Mm-hmm. 
Man, you all don't have to buy any produce. Well, all we need is a cow. That's incredible. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, look at these big, look at these ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Aren't they just beautiful? They're all over the place. That one is going to fall victim. Yeah, Very good. And you can smell them. It's just so Where's our potatoes? Oh, your potatoes? Yeah. I'm sure that if you see my videos with my potatoes, you probably just laugh. Well, we did dig a little. Why didn't you take pity on me, Teresa, and, and, <laughs> and, and email me little. sooner? <laughs> you should have taken pity on me and emailed me well, sooner. Well, we didn't know about those. <laughs> we, we got these at Amazon. All right. Let's see. And they're all pregnant. They're just a cloth bag. Yep. That's that's yep. what I grow them in, a cloth yep. bag. Yep. Grow bags. The oh, they're already starting to, uh, to to seed, I guess you can call that. Yeah, but these are no good, though. No, you, those are poisonous, aren't they? I guess so. Yeah. But I found that if you cut the blossoms off, a lot of people say cut the blossoms off so you don't get these little tomatoes. But then they just grow a whole bunch more blossoms. And about how much do you expect to get from this right here, this little patch? Uh, I really don't know. Maybe... 10 or 15 pounds per really all oh, per bag yeah per bag so you're gonna get at least a good 100 150 pounds maybe if it well i'm jealous still growing pretty good i'm jealous yeah that is awesome you all you you all have everything here that is awesome and honey berries but honey those, berries honey berries but those aren't until june okay big you've ever seen a honey berry uh if i have i didn't know it was a honeyberry <laughs> they're flat uh -huh. and blue like a blueberry but they're like a cross between blueberry and a raspberry or something but they're really, really 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 good you know my wife and my daughter went blueberry picking here i don't know about two or three days ago and i remember mentioning it on one of my live streams and uh yeah my wife called me halfway through my live stream i was like hey don't come back until you have that five gallon bucket full <laughs> And someone actually, oh someone actually emailed me and says, "Do you know how long it takes to fill up a five gallon?" I was like, "I was only kidding." Yeah, <laughs> but they got a, a good amount of blueberries, and I'll tell you what, they were very good, yes. very, very good. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, let me well let that as I introduce you to the most awesome cabbage that you'll see. Show, show, give us a look. Oh, give us a look, that It's the OS cross. Oh my goodness, look, look at, at this. Even got babies. And she's got big. Well, first let's show the mama. Okay. Look at this mama. Just a second. Teresa, get down there. Let's do a little, let's do a thumbnail. Can I have can I use you as a thumbnail? Sure. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's just a second. Let's see. That is awesome. Look yeah. at this. Well, wait a minute. Why isn't this why why isn't this sauerkraut yet? Look at this. It's Ladies and gentlemen, look at my hand. Look at my... <laughs> she says it's not quite ready yet. <laughs> and look at the babies. Yeah. The babies are the size of a regular <laughs> cabbage. Pretty soon. Look at this guy over here. She's, she's splitting a little bit. Now, what is it that you do to grow these so big? We just start them, what, March 15th? Yeah, from that. seed. And then, you know, it's a special... Seed. It's called OS Cross from Where do you Denali oh, Seed. Okay, so I'll be coming next year to see you about those special seeds. <laughs> you can get them from Denali, and if you live in the, if you live in Alaska, what is it? Five days. Five days free shipping. Incredible. Five days free shipping I definitely, for their seeds. Look at this. Now, are these the only two that came out like this, or did you have more? Oh, you already used one. Is your shop open? Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and take a look inside your shop. Let's go and see what we can get ourselves into, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. One more shot. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that is so awesome. From the beautiful downtown Fox. All right. Well, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is like a little tourist trap, isn't it? In you know, a little tourist shop. Look it's, at these. Gary took all the pictures. Now, this is a question. Because I get this question all the time. Do you ship? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Because... Uh, a lot of times when I showcase or when I visit a place like Alaska Rare Coins, people ask me, can we call them and place an order? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the shop. I'm going to make sure that I include your uh, shop's phone number. Okay. That yeah. way, if anyone from the lower 48 or anywhere else is interested. We don't have a website. They don't have a website. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. Just too and much. look at this. And Gary, you took all these pictures. Yep. Most of them are right here. You can see this is yep. our house. Here's <laughs> That's house. really cool. 
Here's that neighbor's house. That you took that picture? Oh, that's a draw that's a drawing up there, isn't it? See that's this, not a picture. This one here. No, that's uh, he, he got that. That's here. right off Parks Highway. Did, yeah. Is that a picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's off Parks Highway. That is awesome, man. The, this camera is not doing it any September justice. September thirteenth. September thirteenth. I got the heat on. Come on. And look at that guy. Okay. Very nice. So, so uh, what do I'm going to buy one of these today to put it in my bunker oh. so we can have our open house. Um, uh, but what do these uh, go for? How much Those do you charge for these? $25. $25 for these small prints. What about these big ones? $80. Eight, okay, so you see this one right here? That one's going to be in my bunker. Isn't that big beautiful. one is going to be in my bunker. That is a beautiful picture. So, <laughs> that is beautiful. And that muck socks, that was taken up by the Diet Rich. Look Dietrich. at this guy. I call it Diet Rich because I can remember it. <laughs> Look at this the guy. The Dietrich up on Dalton. He was neat. Oh, look at this over here. I'm going to come back around. I'm looking at things on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like, oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> but I want to give you guys a good show. That way you can see everything scene. that's here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Man, you know, I have a feeling that you're going to be getting some phone calls. Because these are very nice. I can't believe you don't have a website. These things would sell like hotcakes. So a after after I'm done recording, we'll talk about my commission. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, when I said that, Teresa looked at Gary and said, "What? <laughs> Look at this old guy right here. That's awesome. That's a that's and a missus, isn't it? That's a missus her standing over a picnic table. Oh, uh, oh! Look at that. Look at the picnic table, ladies and gentlemen. That is a picnic table. And look at this. <laughs> Things are huge. She's the one that comes and eats my cabbage. Oh, well, no wonder she's so big. I got the step ladder out. Yeah, and that one and look at this. There. That one's in the fall and the other one was in the spring. From when you see it. These are pictures, though. Mm -hmm. Canvas. That they just got printed on canvas. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. I got the step ladder out after she left. Uh huh. And those branches were 11 feet. 11 feet. She could just stretch her neck And she could stretch her neck and reach. 11 and reach. Feet. I had to get the eight-foot stepladder out to measure. Incredible. Yes. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so we want to take a look at these little guys, because who is the person that works with leather here? Uh, not oh. us. That's the, okay, that's not something that you make yourselves? No. no. Okay. You see, I, I want, like the picture, I want to get something that, that came from you all. Right. All right. That way you can have a have a part in the bunker. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the other side. Have you all seen? Have you all seen? Uh, have you all seen me building my bunker yet? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's almost done. I I called earlier today and I told Teresa I'm gonna be a little late because I got into uh, painting some trim for the bunker. So it's almost yeah, done. Clean a shot of the parking in the greenhouse. Oh, okay. There you go. Those are all magnets on that wall. That's and these wall, are all magnets. All magnets. Man, I'm thinking that picture right there is going to take up about one fifth of my bunker. It's a forty it's by a thirty. Small. <laughs> no, but that thing's going to be awesome. It's definitely going to be in my bunker. All right, so we got postcards. Yeah. Well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I highly recommend. I try to get a good shot of everything. I highly recommend that you give them a call because especially these guys right here, man, are these beautiful. All right. Well, it's time for us to wheel and deal because I need to get a good price on these tomatoes. So we're going to let you go. And uh, having to say thank you very much to Gary. Well, thank you for coming. And thank mm -hmm. you very much for Teresa. It was truly my pleasure, extreme pleasure meeting you. Because oh, I think that a friendship has started here because I love tomatoes and cabbage. There you go. <laughs> so there thank you. Go. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm uh, very, very, very happy that welcome. I made it by. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's time to call it a wrap. So having said that, I hope that you have a great rest of your weekend. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper, Teresa, and Gary, and we are out. God bless. Thanks.